how do we find out zero of a polynomial? Well, we simply equate the polynomial px to zero and we solve for x. That means if any polynomial px is given, we will simply write px equals zero and we solve. And whatever we get the value of x, that will be the value or that will be the zero of our polynomial. So let's take a look at some examples. Especially let's find out zero of linear polynomials. So let's say our polynomial is 2x minus 8. So we are going to equate 2x minus 8 to 0 and then we are going to simply solve. So we will get 2x minus 8 equals 0 or 2x equals 8 or x equals 8 by 2 or simply 4. So we say 4 is the 0 of a polynomial 2x minus 8. Let's take a look at one other example. Let's say this time our variable is u as in umbrella. So p u equals 5u minus 3. So we will equate 5u minus 3 to 0. So we have 5u minus 3 equal to 0 or 5u equal to 3 or u simply will be equal to 3 divided by 5. So we say that 3 divided by 5 is the 0 of a polynomial 5u minus 3. So let's try to generalize this for a linear polynomial. We know that standard way of writing a linear polynomial is px equals ax plus b where a, b are real numbers. Now let's equate ax plus b to 0 or we will get ax plus b equal to 0 or ax equals minus b or x simply will be equal to minus b by a. Now what is b? b is the constant term, right? So we have minus constant term divided by a and what is a? a is the coefficient of x. So we have the zero of a linear polynomial is equal to minus the constant term divided by the coefficient of x. So this is how we find out zero of a polynomial, particularly zero of a linear polynomial.